Not sure which is the best GPU to pair with the Ryzen 9 7900X. The Ryzen 9 7900X is a solid powerhouse when it comes to sheer powerful processors, and pairing it up with a proper graphics card is essential. In this video, I'll break down the top three graphics cards that deliver the best performance together with the 7900X. Whether you're on a budget or looking to splurge, I'm here to give you honest, straightforward advice so you can make the best choice for your setup. Stick around and you'll have a clear idea of which GPU suits your needs by the end of this video. Remember to check the description for pricing details, and don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and drop your thoughts in the comments. So let's get started. Number 3. XFX Speedster Quick 308 Radeon RX 7600 Black. Best Budget GPU for Ryzen 9 7900X. Buying a performant GPU on a tight budget is never an easy task. Making the right choice can be difficult, which is why I'll make it easy for you. The XFX Speedster Quick 308 Radeon RX 7600, that's a mouthful, is a phenomenal graphics card powered by the new RDNA 3 architecture and Navi 3 family, designed with 1080p gaming in mind. The RX 7600 comes through when it comes to performance, allowing you to play the newest AAA games at high frame rates with smooth gameplay. Equipped with 8GB of GDDR6 memory, game clock of 2355MHz and a boost clock of 2755MHz, the graphics card is capable of handling any open world game on the highest settings, providing a reasonable range of 80 to 100 FPS. All of this juice is available due to the triple fan design of the XFX Speedster series that maximizes the airflow of the GPU to keep it cool and performing. Speaking of cooling, this GPU uses the new Ghost Thermal design from XFX, which allows a straight-through airflow vent to the chipset, backed by the 9-blade fans. This will keep your temperatures in check during any long gaming sessions, however, at a cost of some fan noise. This also leaves space for overclocking that can further improve the performance of the graphics card, and provide additional frame rates. A neat little feature here is the presence of dual BIOS. This allows the BIOS to fall back to a different BIOS in case one fails during your enthusiastic adventures. While you receive all of this performance from the RX 7600, the power consumption remains low at around 152 watts while gaming, and is powered by the traditional 8-pin PCIe power connector. This ensures backward compatibility with older power supplies that lack the new 12-volt high-power connector. The official minimum PSU requirement stands at 550 watts, which is a fairly common range for modern computers. Additionally, pairing up an AMD graphics card with an AMD processor allows your computer to utilize AMD smart access memory, which can lead to little performance gains, especially in games like Warzone, where more data is required which keeps the bus lanes busy. Furthermore, the RX 7600 comes with AV1 hardware and code and decode support. This allows the GPU to stream in high quality without using much bandwidth, keeping the performance hit to a minimum. This also makes it an interesting choice for a secondary GPU that you can use primarily for streaming. In terms of connectivity, the XFX Speedster Quick 308 Radeon RX 7600 features a single HDMI 2.1a port along with three DisplayPort 2.1 ports. This allows for 4K support, even via the HDMI port, which is great for casual use, but not something we would recommend for gaming. When it comes to gaming, the RX 7600 goes head-to-head -head with its direct competitor from NVIDIA, the RTX 4060 with a smaller price tag and minimal performance differences. 
Finally, speaking of the design, the triple fan design of the Quick 308 Radeon RX 7600 allows for a balance between performance and looks. There's no RGB involved, but that really shouldn't matter at this price range. In summary, the XFX Speedster Quick 308 Radeon RX 7600 is a graphics card that hits the sweet spot between functionality and looks while pushing the boundaries to provide any performance gains. The triple fan cooling design keeps the GPU cool during intense gaming hours, keeping any possibilities of bottlenecks at bay. Number 2. Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4090 Gaming OC Best Premium GPU for Ryzen 9 7900X The NVIDIA RTX 4090 is a no-brainer when choosing a graphics card, provided you have the funds to spare. And the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4090 Gaming OC pairs perfectly with the most high-end CPUs like the Ryzen 9 7900X, thanks to Gigabyte's excellent cooling solution combined with the unparalleled performance of NVIDIA's latest ADA Lovelace architecture. Starting off with the dimensions of the GPU, it won't be exaggerated to say this is a really massive card. With a total length of 340mm and 75mm wide, it's 20mm longer and 10mm wider than what you'd expect in most other high-end graphics cards. To put it in perspective, you can expect to cover four expansion slots. That's how chunky the GPU is. Now, if something is that chunky, you wouldn't be wrong to deduce it weighs a lot too. For this reason, Gigabyte has included an anti-sag bracket on the backside of the GPU. This braces the motherboard tray to prevent the GPU from sagging at all. This is intelligently designed, as it doesn't sacrifice the overall looks of the graphics card. Speaking of looks, you'll find an RGB-lit Gigabyte branding on the side of the GPU. On top of that, the fans also include backlit RGB lighting, which looks really impressive when active. And you can customize to your liking via the Gigabyte control software. I do think there's a bit too much plastic used on the front, which is not terrible, but it certainly takes away slightly from the premium feel of the GPU. With that said, Let's jump to how this powerhouse performs. Needless to say, this GPU is an absolute beast, and it provides a huge performance boost compared to its predecessor, the RTX 3090. NVIDIA has enabled 16,384 GPU cores on the 4090, which is around 52% more than its predecessor, the 3090 Ti. This alone leads to significant performance gains, even though the L2 cache remains unchanged at 72 megabytes. You can expect to see around 40% plus performance increase in comparison to the RTX 3090 Ti, which really is a lot. In terms of gaming, you can throw literally anything at it at 4K high settings, and the GPU should handle it like a piece of cake, giving you the best graphics without degrading the overall performance of the game. Furthermore, the RTX 4090 really shines with ray tracing enabled. Even with ray tracing enabled, the card can easily provide around 60 FPS in almost all AAA titles. When the GPU is outputting all of this power, the cooling solution ensures the performance remains unaffected in the background. The Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4090 OC uses triple 110mm fans, 10 copper heat pipes along the heatsink, and a large vapor chamber that directly touches the PCB. Gigabyte brands this as the Wind Force cooling system, which really does a great job at keeping this monster cool. At maximum gaming load, the temperatures stay well within the 75 to 78 degrees Celsius range. But this obviously also depends on your room temperature. When overclocked, the hotspot on the GPU can go up to 82 degrees Celsius, which is still fairly cool compared to the overclocked Founder Edition RTX 4090. Coming to connectivity, this GPU provides 3x DisplayPort 1.4a ports and a single HDMI 2.1 port. 
In addition, it comes with the standard dual BIOS feature that should help when overclocking the GPU. The BIOS allows for a maximum of 133% increase in power limit to facilitate any overclocking attempts. Speaking of power, Gigabyte recommends a 1000 watt PSU when working with the GPU, but you can safely use it with a solid 850 watt PSU at a moderate load. All of this power is provided to the card via a single 16 pin 12 volt high power connector which comes in the box. All in all, the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4090 Gaming OC is the best available option when it comes to the current graphics cards. The RTX 4090 chipset and adequate cooling solution really allow the card to deliver unparalleled performance without any compromise, and it is a great pair for the Ryzen 9 7900X. Number 1. ASRock AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX Phantom Gaming Our top choice The ASRock AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX Phantom Gaming is my choice for the best graphics card for the Ryzen 9 7900X, both in terms of overall performance and bang for the buck. Radeon RX 7900 XTX is the highest offering in the latest Navi 3 family based on the RDNA 3 architecture. Starting off with the design, the ASRock Radeon RX 7900 XTX Phantom Gaming features their polychrome RGB lighting sync, creating custom synchronized ARGB effects if that's your niche. It also provides an additional slot for an RGB device, allowing the card to control any additional RGB strips or backplates. Make sure not to connect your motherboard's RGB header or an RGB controller to the slot, as it can result in severe repercussions. ASRock has also added a thoughtful touch for those who aren't fans of RGB lighting. There's a switch near the bracket that allows you to physically turn off all the RGB lights on the card, rather than just through software. This might come in handy for those who don't want to install the ASRock RGB Sync software on their PCs. Furthermore, the card has an anti-sagging support bar at the top, which is neatly hidden and unnoticeable. As for the performance of the card, you can easily expect the performance to be on par with competitors like the RTX 4080 at a lower price point thanks to the factory applied overclock. This results in an average of about 4-5% more performance than the stock Radeon RX 7900 XTX, which can be really valuable when playing games at 4K. Now, the cooling solution for the GPU includes a striped triple fan configuration, allowing for more airflow that's guided by the air deflecting fins of the heatsink to greatly improve the flow of air inside the GPU. All of this is further consolidated by an ultra fit heat pipe, nano thermal paste, and premium thermal padding. During intense workloads, the temperature stays cool at a low range of 60 to 65 degrees Celsius, while the GPU hotspot touches the 80 to 85 range. This is well beneath the 110 degree juncture point where the GPU starts to thermal throttle, allowing the car to cool down. Even at high workloads, the fan sound is not very loud, and it should be unnoticeable when you're playing a game. This adds to the relatively large size of the card, standing at 330mm in length and 58mm wide, allowing it to take up to 2.8 PCIe slots. This has become sort of the sweet spot for high-end cards nowadays, as it gives adequate room for sufficient cooling solutions that prevent performance hindrances. On top of this, ASRock has provided more than adequate options for connectivity, including a single HDMI 2.1a port and 3x DisplayPort 2.1 ports. However, you can only use one DisplayPort 2.1 functionality at a time, as the rest will drive down to 1.4a. In short, the ASRock Radeon RX 7900 XTX Gaming Phantom is a great option to pair with the Ryzen 9 7900X as it doesn't weigh too much on your pocket while also matching the performance of some of the more expensive cards in the market. 
So what do you think? Which of these is the best graphics card for you? Or do you think another GPU is better for the Ryzen 9 7900X? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.